Greetings and welcome to a new video. In this video, I will show you how to jailbreak iOS 15.7.3 right on your Windows PC using PaleNix. It is a USB flash drive which is bootable and this will jailbreak your iPhone or iPad on iOS 15.7.3. The method shown in this video is completely free. You will be able to set passcode or touch ID on your A10 devices while jailbroken using this. The process is super simple. Just head to the official GitHub page for the Pale Rain jailbreak and just head over to the main page. Scroll down and you will see Pale Nix right here. Scroll down and you'll find this iso file get it from here and just get this amd64 iso for c pale nix all right now go back and you will find the blender etcher from here blender etcher is also completely free just get it for your windows pc from here all right, so once you have these two files, the ISO file and Blender Etcher, right click Blender Etcher, run it as administrator. Blender Etcher is now open. Just connect a USB flash drive. So I'm using this 2GB USB flash drive. Just hit flash from file. And now select the ISO file that you have got. Hit open and then hit this flash button and wait for the flash process to complete all right so process is almost complete and you will see flash completed now step one is complete now we will restart the computer and proceed further now simply restart your computer and go to the boot manager by pressing f9 or f12 depending on your computer's manufacturer and you will find the usb that we have just created just hit enter and the pale nix will load and you will see this initial menu just hit the first option that is pale rain and then here you can switch between rootful and the rootless method we will be using rootful and it is the default one also if you are doing this for the very first time on a freshly restored device go to options and then you will have to create this fake fs using this button just hit the space bar and it is now selected leave everything as is press enter now you will have to connect your device via usb and you will see this trust dialog just hit trust now simply hit start and your device will immediately go into recovery mode all right now simply hit enter to get it into dfu just follow the instructions all right my device is in now dfu and the process will start all right now it will start creating the file system because we have selected the semi tethered and the rootful mode so you will have to wait here for like 10 minutes to 15 minutes for this process to complete and then your device will restart do not do anything and let it complete you can ignore this usb error that you are seeing here also on a9 or below devices if you are stuck at the pongu os shell simply do not do anything and control c then type exit then redo the process and then your a9 or below devices will get jailbroken finally you will see that your device will now reboot and you will see that your device will reboot in five seconds but it can take some time after this stage is complete you will not see the pale rain loader yet what will we have to do is press enter here then go to options and make sure that create fake fs is not selected all right now just hit start and your device will go into recovery mode again press enter and get it into dfu by just following the instructions all right now your device should boot into normal mode and when you go in you will see the pale rain loader on your home screen make sure 
the Wi-Fi is connected now open the payroll loader you can see the version it is on 15.7.3 now simply hit install and then it will start downloading some files so please wait here all right so once everything is done just hit respring your device will respring now and then you will see Celio on your home screen i'm going to show you the version ios 15.7.3 iphone 7 and you can update the packages also if you are asking why the substitute is not installed it will be installed when you install a tweak and you can see that tweaks are working just fine so we have installed one right now and you can see the substitute is now there also as i said you can set a passcode so i will try to set a passcode now all right as you can see my passcode is set and i am jailbroken as you can see it right here let me show you that it is working just fine all right as you can see now when you want to go back to windows just hit enter then exit and simply from this menu select reboot now remove the usb flash drive your computer will start loading windows that's all for this video guys i will see you in a new video goodbye and check it.